Welcome back everyone. Today we want to talk about okra and when to harvest it. So stick with us. So as you can see our okra plants are getting pretty tall here and if you're unfamiliar with okra this is the fruit. This is the okra that you're going to eat. I believe it's uh, part of the flower and they come off in these these spurs right here uh, above every new leaf that um, comes out. So it, these are a little small. You can see the size of my finger next to this one. This one is quite close to when we would pick it. But I'm going to show you one that is a great size and one that is not and to avoid. So you can see these tiny ones here, like the one I just showed you, these will probably be ready in a day. They grow very, very fast and you want to be on top of things. Uh, another day and this might double its size, which would be perfect for eating. Now down here on this other plant here, you can see this one right, right here is just too big. This is about, uh, I'd say, four inches, maybe three and a half inches long, which you see it's quite thick at the base. Now, some people might eat this, but the problem is it's going to be very woody and tough down here. You might get a bite off the end of it, um, but that's not going to be as, as pleasant as, say, This one's about right. This one's a little fat at the bottom, and some are fatter than others. Um, but it's a it's a great size. It's probably two and a half, maybe three inches in um, in height. And this is what you want to go for. If this was skinnier, that would be even more perfect. But let's show you some that we've let go, and actually are going to go to seed. So you can see this big chunky one down here. I may pick this one. This one's pretty good, but this big chunky one down here is not going to work. It's just way too fat. It's probably an inch uh, in diameter, while this one's maybe five-eighths of an inch in diameter. And you see this one here, uh, let me get the camera down here for you. We have let this dry out, and this will go to, the seeds are in here for uh, the next season's harvest. They are very woody, very tough, and that one is all dried out and waiting for next year. So that's what you want to do also, is if you're seed saving, you want to save, and let me get a better, some better light on this thing for you. I don't know if you can see it better there. Um, you want to leave a couple of these on to go to their full size and, and dry out for your seeds. Because, like I said, if you're a seed saver, this is these are the easiest thing in the world to, to save. You just let them dry, break them off, break them in half, and all the seeds are dried in there for you, ready to go for next uh, next year. So, there's a couple on here I will grab tomorrow. I just did harvest some, and there's maybe one or two more that I just uh, left on there and wanted to show you. These are very beautiful, beautiful flowers. Uh, on these okra plants. This one right here is maybe a little big. This one is, uh, is going to be a pretty good size. Now you can see these little bugs jumping around on here. I believe those are also a type of thrip or a, a, leaf, a leaf hopper. They move laterally uh, around. They have that ability to move laterally around to avoid a predator. You can see I've got my finger here. Maybe you can see him, he's jumping around, squish. And they will they will really devastate your plants. Uh, let's find some damage. Oh, you can see right here, this is damage from a thrip or a leaf hopper. They have bacteria in their mouths. And when they start chewing on the plants, they transfer that bacteria or any, it's not just one bacteria, it's numerous, numerous types of bacteria onto your plants. And you saw the damage earlier from on my beans. They, they're devastating. They, they, they've taken out a lot of my beans. 
I didn't know they were attracted much to eggplant, but as you can see, they are. Not as much as beans. Um, here's some damage from one that hasn't turned brown yet from the bacteria. But, you, like I said, the only thing that really keeps them off is the orange oil solution that I've um, put up in several videos. There's another one right there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, for us, that tender okra is, is amazing. And what we do is we boil it for 45 seconds, depending on the size, 45 seconds to a minute. And that's it. Any longer than that, and you're going to get that sliminess from okra that a lot of people do not like. And I personally don't like either. I didn't like okra that much until my wife made it for me and she picked the small ones and from or she got the small ones from a neighbor she boiled them for that period of time and then we just dip them in soy sauce and it's it's amazing there's no sliminess to it they taste fantastic they're fresh they're vibrant and they're very very good so there's a little extra recipe for you as well have a great day everyone like and subscribe we appreciate it. Helps us out a lot. Go visit us, countrylivingexperience.com. Have a great day, and we will see you next time.